The latest figures published by the Department for Work and Pensions DWP, show that there are nearly 3. 4 million people over the age of 16 claiming personal independence payments PIP. however, the statistics do not include people who have either moved from PIP to Adult Disability Payment ADP, or new claimants of the devolved Scottish Disability Benefit. Some 277,764 people in Scotland are still receiving PIP from the DWP and the new figures indicate that 20,663 case awards were transferred to Social Security Scotland during the last quarter, May to July. As of July 31st, some 93,880 people were in receipt of ADP and of those, 42,620 were new applicants and 51,260 were PIP case transfers. A successful claim for PIP or ADP is worth between £26.90 and £172.75 and and each week in additional financial support and as the benefit is paid every four weeks, this amounts to between £107.60 and £691 every payment period. More than 540 health conditions are being supported by PIP or ADP, but the list is not definitive and contains an unknown category. The statistics from DWP for PIP conditions show an increase in the number of people claiming for psychiatric disorders, which includes a wide number of conditions including anxiety, stress, depression and learning disorders. July saw the nationwide number of claimants for these types of conditions rise to 1,253,056 from 1,221,883 at the end of April. The number of people claiming for musculoskeletal conditions such as arthritis, joint, chronic or back pain and hip disorders increased to 1,066,093 from 1,045,586. PIP Breakdown, July 2023 Scotland, 277,764, plus a further 93,880 on ADP, England and Wales. 3,079,513 living abroad, 2,243 total, 3,359,694 total number of PIP health categories disability category, 21, including unknown or missing, disability subgroup, 178 disability. 547 5 most commonly recorded disabling conditions psychiatric disorder 1,253,056 claimants 37% this includes mixed anxiety stress depressive and mood disorders OCD and cognitive disorders musculoskeletal disease general 669,706 20% this includes muscle or joint pain and arthritic conditions. Neurological disease, 423, 552, 13%. This includes muscular dystrophy, epilepsy, headache, multiple sclerosis, neuropathy and other movement disorders. Musculoskeletal disease, regional, 396,387. 12%, this includes neck, back, shoulders, elbow, wrists, hands, hip, knee and ankle pain. Respiratory disease, 139,058, 4%, this includes asthma, diseases of the upper respiratory tract, pulmonary fibrosis and cystic fibrosis. Some 36% of all claims with entitlement to PIP at the end of July 2023 are in receipt of the highest level of award. An award for PIP or ADP can also lead to additional support for housing costs, council tax, other benefits and reduced travel on public transport. Disabling conditions and number of claimants, 
July 2023 These are the main disability categories, the umbrella term by which a total of 547 other conditions fall under. This list is only an overview of conditions, disorders and diseases and how the DWP lists the main disabilities being claimed for. Hematological disease, 7903 infectious disease, 12259 malignant disease, 103158 metabolic disease, 4905 psychiatric disorders, 1,253,056 neurological disease, 423,552 visual disease, 58,274 hearing disorders, 35,633 cardiovascular disease, 87,935 gastrointestinal disease, 30,706 diseases of the liver, gallbladder, biliary tract, 12,394 skin disease, 22,120 musculoskeletal disease, general, 669,706 musculoskeletal disease, regional, 396,387 autoimmune disease, connective tissue disorders, 18,585 genitourinary disease, 25,810 endocrine disease, 45,712 respiratory disease, 139,058 multi-system and extremes of age, 1,347 diseases of the immune system, 1,149 unknown or missing, 10,025 total, 3,359,694 Even though PIP is being replaced in Scotland by adult disability payment, it will follow the same eligibility criteria, but take a more people-centric approach, according to Social Security Scotland. Below is an overview of PIP and ADP. Even though new claims for PIP have been replaced in Scotland by ADP, it shares most of the same eligibility criteria, but takes a more people-centric approach, according to Social Security Scotland. What is PIP? PIP is a benefit which is gradually replacing DLA. If you need extra help because of an illness, disability or mental health condition you could be eligible for PIP. You will be assessed by a health professional to work out the level of help you can get and your rate will be reviewed to make sure you are getting the right support. Who is eligible for PIP or ADP? To be eligible for PIP or ADP, you must have a health condition or disability where you have had difficulties with daily living or getting around, or both, for three months expect these difficulties to continue for at least nine months you usually need to have lived in the UK for at least two of the last three years and be in the country when you apply. In addition to what we have outlined above if you get or need help with any of the following because of your condition, you should consider applying for PIP or ADP. Preparing cooking or eating food managing your medication washing, bathing or using the toilet dressing and undressing engaging and communicating with other people reading and understanding written information making decisions about money planning a journey or following a route moving around there are different rules if you are terminally ill, you will find these on the Gov. UK website here. DWP or Social Security Scotland will assess how difficult you find daily living and mobility tasks. For each task they will look at, whether you can do it safely how long it takes you how often your condition affects this activity whether you need help to do it, from a person or using extra equipment How are PIP and ADP paid? PIP and ADP are usually paid every four weeks unless you are terminally ill, in which case it is paid weekly. It will be paid directly into your bank, building society or credit union account. ADP is paid at the same rates as PIP. What are the PIP and ADP payment rates? You will need an assessment to work out the level of financial help you will receive and your rate will be regularly reviewed to make sure you are getting the right support. PIP is made up of two components, 
daily living mobility whether you get one or both of these and how much depends on how severely your condition affects you. You will be paid the following amounts per week depending on your circumstances, daily living standard rate, 68 pounds, 10 enhanced rate, 101 pounds and 75 pence mobility standard rate, 26 pounds and 90 pence enhanced rate, 71 pounds. Oh oh how you are assessed you will be assessed by an independent healthcare professional to help the DWP determine the level of financial support, if any, you need, for PIP. Face-to-face -face consultations for health-related benefits are offered alongside video calls, telephone and paper-based assessments. It's important to be aware that there is no choice here, it's up to the health professional and DWP. Adult disability payment assessments will not involve face-to-face -face assessments, unless this is preferred by the claimant, find out more about the changes here. You can find out more about DWP PIP assessments here. Get the latest record money news join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our record money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at record money underscore for regular updates throughout the day. How do you make a claim for PIP? You can make a new claim by contacting the DWP, you will find all the information you need to apply on the Gov. UK website here. Before you call, you will need, your contact details your date of birth your national insurance number, this is on letters about tax, pensions and benefits your bank or building society account number and sort code your doctor or health worker's name, address and telephone number dates and addresses for any time you've spent abroad in a care home or hospital even if you don't qualify for financial support, you could be eligible for a national entitlement travel card, which offers free or reduced travel across Scotland on most public transport links. For more information about PIP, visit Gov.UK here. How to apply for adult disability payment People can apply ADP, over the phone, by post or in person. To find out more or apply, visit the dedicated pages on mygov.scot here or call Social Security Scotland on 0800 182 2222. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.